8020's new deflection calculator is a software used to determine how much a T-slider profile will deflect when a load is placed upon it for all applications. This tool is designed for use with anybody who needs to figure out which T-slider profile will work best for their specific application. This is a reference material and should not be used as an end-all solution. Let me show you how it works. Some of the many new features on 8020's deflection calculator include expanded profiles such as fractional, metric, HT series, quick frame profiles, as well as the option to create your own beam. Some of the terms you will need to know when using the new deflection calculator include profile load. This is the amount of weight you will be distributing on the bar or putting on any one given point. Another term you'll need to know is deflection. This is how much the beam will bend under the weight of a given load or the beam's own weight. Now let's run through an average scenario and show you how the tool works. First you want to select the T-slider profile you're interested in. In this instance we're going to choose 1530. Your next step will be to put in your profile's length. In this scenario we're going to put 100 inches. Your next step is going to be putting in the load that's going to be on your profile. In this scenario we're going to do 200 pounds. As you will notice you can put in either fractional or metric measurements into any of your cases from length to weight. After you've placed your values in, simply click the calculate deflection button and you will see that the fields have filled out showing the deflection on the given scenarios. You have three different scenarios to choose from on how your beam will deflect. The first is the beam being fixed on one end. This is the profile being fixed to a given vertical beam and being open on the opposite end. The second deflection type is fixed on two ends. This shows the beam being fixed to two vertical posts with no center supports. The third deflection type is supported on two ends. This is the beam sitting atop two vertical posts without being fastened in any method. Once you have calculated your deflection, you will see that there are two different orientation types for your T-slider profile, each of which calls out their own unique deflection. The first is deflection X, which is the profile listed in the left window. The second is the deflection Y, which is the profile shown in the right window. These will change as you select different profiles throughout the tool. Using a standard rectangular profile, you will see that the deflections will change based upon the orientation of the bar, whereas a square profile with equal sides should have no change between the X and the Y orientation. The next thing to note will be the three different load types. The first is load evenly distributed with a solid object, which is the entire weight being placed across the entire length of the profile. The second is the load centered. This is the load being on one fixed point in the center of the bar. The final box is the load variable tool. This allows you to place the weight of the load on any given point of the profile that you desire. In order to use this tool, simply select the slider, move left or right until you get to your desired location, and let go. You will notice that as you move the slider, your deflection automatically changes. Once you have finished putting in all of your variables, to find the solution for your deflection, simply look in these boxes. If you notice that your deflection rating is beyond your specs, you will need to select a different bar to support the load that you are looking for. In order to create your own beam, simply click on the Created Beams button, configure your beam, click the plus symbol to add a beam, name your beam, and click the Save button. Click Close and you will notice that your beam now appears in the drop down menu. You will also see that you can use this beam as you would any other beam in the deflection calculator. Once you have completed your deflection report, in order to save the values which you have calculated, simply click the print report button. This will generate a report showing everything in the current tab for the deflection type. You can either print the report or you can save the report as an Excel file, a PDF, or a Word document. And that is how to use the 8020's new deflection calculator.